Hello everybody, welcome to another NASCAR Heat 5 career mode video. Today we're doing the final race of the season at Eldora. This is Dale Jr.'s WR Last Call Dirt Finals. Let's get into it. So as you can see, this track is extremely flat, but it is one of the fastest tracks on the schedule. It's a very wide track too, so I'm going to get into practice and see how it goes. As you can see, I had a great practice session, hitting my goal on all four of my laps and improving almost every time and i did find the perfect line for qualifying so i'm going to get into it go 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 our goal is a 16 3 4 7 which i think we can hit if we do our lines correctly so through turns one and two you're gonna take the high line because there's willis as you can see down there he will block the exit going low and through turns three and four you'll take the low line because we can without running into anybody is we're going to start our lap and take this high line. Not a great line through the corners. We ride the wall, basically. But hopefully we get a good enough run where we can just dive down in and get a good lap in. But it's not going to look very good so far because we're going to qualify with a 16.953. A terrible lap, putting us in 17th. I'm actually extremely disappointed with that result. But we'll have to deal with it and see what we, can, what we can do with this race. We're starting in 16th, actually. Let's see what happened. I would have rather it be in 17th, but at this point, it doesn't matter. Hugh Ackerman is our friend. Mark Hunter crashed during qualifying. He'll be starting behind us. And Hugh Ackerman is in first, who is our friend. So let's get into the race. We're starting on the Start outside, the, the double zero of Terrence Russell. We are green for the final race of this second Five. season. The third season, I'm losing track at this point. As you right, follow yeah, right behind Stevenson into turn one, make a little bit of contact Nobody with him on accident. As you try to make this pass on Russell, as we're going to dive down the inside, already gaining all of these positions. If we can get the run off the corner, but no, we lose all the positions again. We are four wide through the corner, but we do take 10 with Stevenson down our inside, battling side by side out of turn two. We we'll take this outside line that we practiced. During, uh, uh, during practice, and it will work for us as we'll gain, the, gain a position up to ninth. Now we dive down the inside, already getting up to six almost. We're going to be side by side with Carter coming out of turn two. We contact with him and the two of right as we're going to follow right behind Carter, dive down the inside of him, and we'll go to next to the 98 of Davis and take his fifth position. We side up the track now as we go a little bit too deep into turns one and two. But we're really going to push hard now to try to catch up to our teammate of Anthony Norton, or current teammate, as he will no longer be our teammate after this race. We're going to dive down the inside, about getting to his rear quarter panel, but no, we were super close, we couldn't do, get it done, so we're going to dive down the inside again, trying to get back to him, as we will, as we come up side by side for second, coming out of turn, th turn four, but we get loose off the corner, and we'll accidentally send Ackerman up the track. He's our friend. He will not be happy with that. He's lost the lead. We're just going to make contact with our teammate of Norton. We're going to go down the inside. Three wide for second. As we'll finish in second for stage two. What a stage. We came from all the way in 17th. Finishing in second. And now we're just behind the track owner of Tony Stewart. Who I do have some beef with. So like I said before, we are starting on the outside this time of Tony Stewart. Here on the front row, we are green for stage two here in Eldora. We're going to try to run this outside line through turns one and two, seeing how this that will help us. He's going to get a great run off the corners. We're going to be side by side again with Tony Stewart. Take this outside line even more. As we're going to try not to make contact with that outside wall coming out of turn four. And we will take the lead for now if Tony Stewart doesn't dive down in on the inside of us, but no, we keep the position, but no, we're side by side out of turn two, but a great back and forth battle with Tony Stewart here, he's going to get the edge in turn three, make contact with him, sends it, sends it to the outside wall, and he will keep first for now, we do have a fast car though, so I won't doubt if we will be able to catch up to him, we're going to dive down the inside, really trying to paint this wall, we do not make contact with it, we get very close, is we're going to get loose, and he's going to start pulling away. 
Take this outside line through turns one and two. Getting a late apex down in the corner, seeing what we can do with this car. As we are in a four star, he is in a five star, and he knows this track better than anybody, as this is his. So it'd be a great accomplishment if we were able to beat him, as we are, I think, gaining time on him. Let's see. We're at 0.7 now, but through the corner, we get up to 0.4, but we're gonna lose a lot of time on the straightaway, as I think we are just stuck behind at this 0.7 range. We do get a great run off the corner on the second to last lap of the stage. We're gonna go through the inside this time, seeing how much time we can make up down there, as I think that's the strategy, is we're gonna dive again down the inside. I think this will be it, as we're gonna be right there out of turn two is we're going to really dive down, seeing if we can get that first position we make contact. Don't forget we are mad at him. It's going to be a photo finish for first. No, we do not get it. Tony Stewart holds on to first for stage two as we're going to finish again in second. But now we know that bottom line is going to gain us a whole lot of positions as we're going to get into the final stage of the race. So let's get into it. We're starting on the outside again, which is terrible luck for us. But we're starting on the outside of Tony Stewart for the final stage of the second season or third season. I can't keep track, like I said, of this NASCAR career mode. Make contact with Tony Stewart coming out of turn two. He makes contact with us, sending us up the track a bit. So we're going to try to do a switchback, making contact with his bumper as he's going to get away from us, though. Not as much of a battle for first as it was last lap. But he's going to go up the track. He's really going to send it, making contact. That'll allow, I think that's Norton on the outside of us. No, he did not. I'm seeing things in my mirror. As we're really going to dive down through this inside line. And we will be side by side with Tony Stewart for first, coming out of turn four. And take this outside line, try to run the top. This is one of the only tracks in this game where you can run two lines. And it still works. He's going to get down the inside of us, though, as we're going to make contact with the back bumper, setting him up the track. But it won't do anything as he will keep the position. We're going to go through the inside again, making contact with him. This is how we're going to battle, especially since he wrecked us a few races ago. We get a little bit too sideways going into turn three and four. There's going to be side by side coming out of turn four. There's going to be, again, really tough battle for first here. We send him up the track, though, and we will keep first for the time being. We're going to have to run this top line, though, as I see him down the inside. And if I get too close to him, he will spin me out as he has that reputation. Make contact with the outside wall. That'll allow him to come back again down the inside. And we're going to try to do a switchback, but no, he's too close to do a switchback. And he's going to pull away. We're really going to have to try to dive bomb to try to get this position back for our first win in the Dirt Series. But we contact, getting a bit too sideways. As he's going to go up the track, though. Is he's gonna make contact with us again, as I think that'll be it. He's gonna try to start pulling away now, but if I can get this car straight fast enough, we will be able to catch back up. Three laps to go in this season. And you're down the inside again. We are gaining tons of positions here. Or not position, tons of time. Is it gonna be up to his quarter panel now? Coming out of turn four with two laps remaining. And he's side by side through turn one. But no, he's going to keep the position. But we're going to have to use the lap traffic to our advantage. It's not working so far. It's going to be side by side. Toy Stewart coming out of turn four on the final lap of the race. We're going to dive down the inside. Trying to get to Stewart. He makes contact with the lap car. We make contact with him. We make contact with the lap car. We're going to send it down the inside in the last lap of the race. We're going to get past him. We're going to make the pass. He's going to come down the inside, but no. We win here in Eldora on the final race, on the final lap. We take the lead, and we win. And now it's time to show you my burnout strategy at my home race. We gain the first win of our career. In a little burnout first. See what we can do. And now what I call the full speed Polish victory lap. We're gonna go this track full speed backwards. And the good thing about this is the burnout car is always loose and it's dirt anyway. It's gonna really spin it out because 
I currently I'm inexperienced in this, but I have plenty of experience in this game with doing this lap. My whole at the home race, we gain our first victory. Even though there's nobody on this backstretch to watch, we're gonna come across go full speed into a sp into a spin. And that'll, uh, that ought to impress some people at least, as we will gain our first victory. What a race. What a season. We finish ahead of Tony Stewart, who I believe will be your season three, I just figured out, season three champion. We gain a whole lot of money for that. <laughs> we have a giant lead over everybody else that was not in the playoffs. There's our trophy, our first trophy, as we have the fastest lap of the race with the 16.261. Tony Stewart led the most laps, except for those two that I led, especially the most important one, that last lap. Mark Hunter goes from all the way from last to fourth, and Alan Anderson started in third and went all the way back to 17th, where I started this race, as we come from 17th to first to win the final race of the season. We win our first race in the career. We gain ten, only ten fans from that. In when I win in the hometown, and we have a total of two hundred nine, surpassing our subscriber count by a lot. Subscribe now, especially for that win, as we obviously complete the contract, our last contract with Queen City Racing, as we win our first Extreme Dirt Tour. We earn our first Extreme Dirt Tour win and we finally get a message from mark hunter we'll compliment him as he has complimented us we now have momentum going into next season what a season i think that means tony stewart has won the championship and there's our guy warren we need to figure out our plans for next season we are going to have to go back to the dirt tour we're going to join a team and we are going to join champions motorsport where we only have one rival now, which is Willis. I would take his car, but it looks ugly to me. We're going to drive our own car. We're staying in the 83. Does not match. We get motorsport.com as our sponsor, a giant sponsor, if you ask me. So, we have this, like, flame-style car. I'm going to give you three options, just like last time. This time, make sure to actually uh, vote on which one you want. Or maybe not three options. I think I'm just going to get one option. I'm going to run it for the season. See you guys after the time lapse. So now you can see the car we're driving for this entire season, unless we make the playoffs. There will be some changes made if we make the playoffs. As we're going to continue, as we are officially at Champions Motorsports. It's the only season we can do so far, as we have ever done. We're going to get everything set up and see... What we'll be doing going into Vegas. Thank you, Warren. We're good to go. Makings of a great season. Hot seat. There we go. Finally. We are in the hot seat position. And we're going big. We're going to go four top fives. As that'll be it for today's video, guys. Make sure to like, subscribe, and I'll see you all next time.